Good morning and welcome back to Building a House from Trees. Uh, this week's episode's all over the place. Get more, I get more walls sheathed. Um, the north and the east wall. The east wall, uh, at the end of the video, I had some help from a friend, Carl Gifford from Sebago Stonework. Um, check out that video up here. He's a great, great stone worker in uh, southwestern Maine. Anyway, um, I get the flying buttresses, the foundation for my uh, my uh, second story deck out there, um, sketchily but effectively put up and installed and prepped. And um, the last wall, the east wall, framed in. A note, um, a lot of you have noticed that I haven't framed in windows on this side. Um, it's going to be easier to frame them from inside with the walls up than off of the ladder. And I didn't have um, enough two by sixes milled. And so I'm, I'm actually doing that today. I'm going to be milling up that log over there that I cut in this future video that you are yet to see. Um, anyway, I'm going to be making more 2x6s, enough 2x6s to finish out the windows, and uh, I'll probably do that in the spring. Um, but for now, it's all buttoned up, almost, and uh, yeah, thanks to all the new viewers and all the new subscribers. Uh, surpassed 8,000. That's like, shocking to me, but um, I'm glad you guys are all here and watching me bumble through this process. And uh, thanks for all the positive comments and the positive uh, feedback. So um, thanks for tuning in and like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll see you next week. Loading dock pays off. Uh, you know, I think it'll pay off also not during construction, but certainly during construction, it's really handy having this uh, loading dock. You yeah. know, right now that other bay is all full of lumber and insulation, but this is awful slick. So I'm gonna put some sheathing on this wall that I've had unsheathed since spring. Uh, got a blizzard coming in tomorrow. I might be blowing some wind and snow and everything, so. Gonna get it all buttoned up, then one more wall to go. Oh man, that'll be so nice to get this closed in. Less careful up on the ladder. Probably shouldn't be. It's so cold. Not too bad. So I got all these little uh, 
some more blocking. It's a story of blocking here. Um, I've got these two uh, foot long pieces of two by four that I'm going to jack up this floor, uh, these floor joists with, so this floor can continue out into this sun bay giant window area. So that's what I'm working on now. So before it gets all cluttered up again, I'll take you around here, the downstairs. It's the kitchen area, big island here, stove over there, wood stove in that corner. There's the bump out for that bay. I just put some stuff in there, but you can walk through here and kind of be out in here. I don't know how much of that's gonna happen, but it will be a nice warm spot on a sunny day like today. Well, I think it was. Big window over there. Yeah, pretty soon I'm gonna shift all this crap back over to there, but for now, it's pretty nice, empty.
should be good. That wasn't too bad at all then, was it? 26 foot long, four by six. Um, I know that in this video, where? This video, that video? Why can't I think that? Anyway, uh, the oversized log episode something last year. Anyway, it, it's pine, it's white pine. It dried out over the summer. It's really light, it was I probably could have lifted it up there without the tractor. It was handy having the tractor though. So I'm gonna tune it up, make sure it's all level and secure it. Again, that's for the ledger for the walls. So. <clears throat> well, once again, the uh, camera froze up. It's really cold. It's in the single digits and uh, I guess the, the GoPro battery doesn't like to be awake during that time. But anyway, I... Uh, <clears throat> I secured these, uh, or I secured this uh, 26 foot long four x six that I milled in this video up here. And I secured them with eight inch timber locks, two foot on center under every single joist, uh, not joist, every single stud, because this is the kind of the base of this wall. And so uh, now I'm gonna work on the foundation for the, um, the, the five foot, eight by eights that are gonna sit down on top of these oak splines that are stuck out, so. All right, and the camera's probably about to freeze up. Okay, remember back in season two when I uh, routed out all the grooves? Um, I went swimming in that episode. It was extremely hot that day. It's really cold today, but it's a beautiful evening. God, I love that sky. Gets that little pink. And that's the east. Got some sort of weird sunset over there. The opposite side. I don't quite understand that, but it's beautiful.
Oh, sorry to interrupt that beautiful quiet. But back in season two or three, I don't remember, but um, when I routed out those grooves for the uh, for the um, splines to sit in, right there. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm planing those eight five foot eight by eights, and I'm routing out these uh, exact size splines here, and um, I'm going to have those eight by eights sit on that, and they're going to support the uh, second story deck catwalk thing. So that's what I'm working on right now, and I, uh, I'm doing that now because I I have to. Uh, I think I I think I, I do have to uh, prior to framing in the wall there. So. That's the priority. That's that last wall and it's open and it's beautiful. I wish it could just stay open. I wish it could be all glass. Boy, that would be opulent, wouldn't it? <laughs> all right. Well, once I remembered how to do that, that went quite well. So, uh, it's going to be, they're a lot heavier than I thought they were going to be. They're still wet. I kept them outside, so that's why they're still wet and heavy. But um, I'm going to try to get those on there tomorrow alone. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. You'll watch. I'll try it. If it's dangerous or painful, I won't do it. Probably. a little bit easier than taking them up the ladder. Okay, so good morning. Uh, it's three right now, but the sun is shining and that's going to be helpful and it's uh, it's calm. So <clears throat> this morning, I like doing these things early in the day when I'm feeling good. Um, I've got to get those five foot eight by eights stuck onto that. Uh, I've got an idea. This is something I've been ruminating about for quite some time. Um, and I've got a, a plan on how to, how to do it. So <clears throat> I'm going to get that pick right out there, that 
things called a pick. Set it up here. Use these, both of them, with the 8 inch timber locks to lock them into the joists here and have that cantilever out uh, with some support down here. And I may, just to be extra safe, put a couple uh, two buys uh, giving that support down below. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing now. Effort either. Slides on. Jeez, weird. It's weird when things work like I plan. Because, you know, my plans are weird. Like this one. Like when those guys put that eagle out there. But that eagle was really light. It was like tinfoil. Sheet metal. Looks like solid steel. It's not. It's a facade. It's kind of like this place. Looks like solid wood. It's plastic. All of it. Whole thing. House from plastic. Well, that was quite successful. Well, I read a lot about redundancies and safety, and uh, I am working here alone with a phone that is as dead as all my other batteries. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm smartened up and put on a harness for this little operation. It's pretty safe, and people do a lot dumber things, but and I've done a lot dumber things, but I might as well uh, just take this extra step, run a rope over this, and just give myself, uh, you know, a pretty logical. S literal safety rope. <laughs> All right. There we go. swimmingly. Thanks you still work.
Oh, that is some nice morning light. <clears throat> Couple weeks, well, a few weeks, the video of that giant window going in there. As soon as that's in, this face is gonna be almost livable. It's gonna warm up so nicely in here. I mean, it's already warm. It's, it's eight degrees right now, but this is warm. Look at that. Some dark tile in here. Yeah, this will be this will be a nice warm space in the morning on these cold mornings. Nearly passive, I, I imagine.